morning, everybody. Welcome to another Denmark Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Tuesday, and it's uh, June 21st. Uh, the only thing we got on the docket today is Janet Yellen's testimony before Congress. Uh, so far, it's um, basically kind of what we she did last week after the Fed meeting. Basically, is just letting them know that they're taking a very cautious approach in terms of raising interest rates. Uh, they do feel that the Brexit could... Uh, kind of wreak havoc on the global markets, including here in the U.S., could hurt uh, U.S. economy. Uh, so this is some of the things that she was kind of mentioning today in her testimony to Congress uh, on that. So stock market is up a little bit. A lot of it is to, to uh, you know, uh, they feel that the Brexit, as of yesterday, as we mentioned, that one of the polls came out that the Brexit would uh, be a it was kind of slightly in favor of the uh, to remain uh, portion, so those who want to remain uh, seem to favor. Uh, another poll came out uh, today. It looked like it was like 45 to 44, so 45 going to remain and the 44 um, to uh, to exit. So again, uh, it's not it's up a little bit, but not by a lot. Yesterday we had a pretty good rally, especially after taking a beating last week. Uh, but again, most of the cues being taken from uh, the Brexit here. Um, we don't got a lot of uh, data this week until you get Thursday or Friday, which at point we'll also have the uh, referendum in England uh, regards to the, if they're going to remain or if they're going to uh, leave uh, the EU. Uh, here's the bond market. As you see, we did t kind of take it. We These long w windows here uh, did so far is starting to create that trend line. So we're getting this lower trend line. So rates are kind of going upwards here. Uh, today, uh, we're up. We're only down about six basis points from where we left off, but we did uh, sell in under this trend line. So this is the drawback. We did come in under here, and uh, and now we're trying to fight our way up upwards. Now we got a couple long wicks here that could help us to, again. Uh, you know, this could revent, go the opposite directions, and help us go upwards again. So we'll have to kind of wait and see if we can uh, um, break above that or not. Okay, uh, but rates are. Right now, are about a little bit mixed. So they're, you know, again, we did start off the East Coast because uh, we did start off down here. If you're on the East Coast, most likely the rates did go up. Uh, as the day goes on, it could probably show improvement, or maybe tomorrow they'll get that improvement. Uh, but for the most part, rates could be a little bit higher today for a lot of people. Here on the West Coast, we're only down about six base points by the time they come out. Their interest rates, uh, that three-hour difference could make it could make that difference. So maybe about the same or a little bit worse. All right. Ho hopefully that makes sense for you folks. Uh, it's just primarily because depending on the time. So when the time comes out, uh, we're down here and we're, we're probably close to about 12, 18 basis point between 12 and 16 basis points. So I'm down here. So the rate price will be coming worse. By the time we get to the West Coast and it's already moved up to here and they come out with their rates, basically it will be basically the same as what we left off yesterday. All right, folks. So hopefully that makes sense. I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.